It destroyed me. What's up guys, it's Alvin and welcome back to my channel. Keep in mind, it is Saturday as I'm filming this video and I have no electricity, which means this video might not go up on time until the electricity gets cut back on. And for that, I apologize. Okay, so you may have heard of this show that just premiered on Hulu on Wednesday and it is called Love, Victor. And let me just start by saying that destroyed me. Now I'm gonna get into why it is that it destroyed me, but if you don't know what Love, Victor is, it's basically a spin-off off of the movie called Love, Simon, as well as the book Simon vs. the Homo Sapiens Agenda. And let me just say, this show, literally, like, I have no words, like, I don't even know what I'm trying to say, but this show is one of the best ones I've ever watched to date. I know I say that a show is great and I say that it's my favorite show, but this one happens to take my number one spot. For one, it centers around Victor, a Latino lead character that comes from a religious family who's just trying to figure out who he is. Let me just start by saying that the show did a great job portraying what it's like being Latino and living with a religious family who are from different economical classes and aren't as quite open-minded. And the fact that we've come this far and we finally get a story representing us, us Latinos. Like it's amazing to finally feel like we're included, like we finally have a say and saying hey this is what it's actually like, and that not all parents are accepting. Basically Basically, this whole video is just going to be me reviewing what I liked about Love, Victor and what I disliked. So if you're interested, then keep on watching. So yeah, let's get this video started. Now, one of the things that I love about this show is the fact that it takes place in the Simonverse, which means that Simon and Bram are mentioned and literally the entire thing was just... I, it's just, it felt like the movie just in a TV show format. For one, they have Miss Albright, the drama teacher who is now the principal, and she even tells Victor about Simon and Bram. Now, when I first saw Miss Albright walk into the screen, I'm like, dude, that's so fucking awesome. Miss Albright came back. Although she only came back for one episode, I kind of wish that she actually had more screen time because I feel like Victor would probably go to her addressing what's going on. So I feel like she would be a big help. So throughout the season, we actually get to meet two characters named Lake and Felix who totally have feelings for each other but they kind of don't really want to be a thing well Lake doesn't want to be a thing with Felix because she's embarrassed by him but in the end Lake decides just to say screw it and she doesn't really care what people think about her and that's one of the things that I like about this show at first it starts off a little rough but then eventually Felix shows Lake his apartment and it's completely like an episode of Hoarders because Felix overhears a conversation between Lake and her mother regarding why she feels insecure I don't know I feel like it's just an accurate representation of caring what people think but then in the end you're just like you know what I don't care anymore this is how I'm gonna live my life and I want to be with who I want to be regardless of what they think. So that was another point that I liked. Another thing that I really liked was during Victor's Sweet 16 party, he actually invites his entire family and <laughs> wouldn't you know it, they're crazy about their Tres Leches cake. Now us being Latinos as well, we like our Tres Leches cake but actually I really haven't had Tres Leches cake in years but nevertheless we're crazy about it. Another thing that I liked was that Nick Robinson, the actor who plays Simon, actually makes an appearance on the show and he was also a producer. Like you can't have Love Victor without having having Nick Robinson's opinion or his input and the fact that Victor was actually DMing Simon like it's just like it's so good that Simon is still kind and good spirited and helping someone else figure out who he is because he himself went through it. Also Bram makes an appearance like even though they were both only in the show for one episode like you gotta have at least Bram and Simon show up. Also Simon passes down his Sherpa denim jacket. Kind of like this one that I'm wearing. Actually it's really fucking hot in this room and there's no AC and the electricity's off but we're not gonna wear this today. <laughs> So to me, I feel like the Sherpa jacket actually represents passing down the torch that Victor himself is going to be the new Simon, which I thought was a kind gesture on Simon's behalf. It's basically saying, hey, Victor, you're not alone. Here, you're the new me, but not in that sense. Do you know what I mean? Also, tell me it's not just me. Some characters in the show have lookalikes. Take, for example, Benji. Benji looks like a mix between Anthony and, oh my God, I forgot who the hell the actor was, but it'll probably come to me if it doesn't. Oh well. And Victor's sister Pilar, she literally looks like a mixture of Francia Raisa and Alessia Carr. Like, if these two had a baby, that would be Pilar. And I guess that's pretty much like the only two characters that I saw that have lookalikes. Let me know in the comments if it's not just me. Speaking of Pilar, what I did not like about the show was that Pilar 
sometimes made it too much about herself. I know that it's about Victor's family, but Pilar, she was just rebellious, she was so angsty, she refused to listen and wanted to do what she wanted to because she missed home and her boyfriend and her friends. Like, Pilar, it's not about you. Yes, you're the little sister, but come on. If you were to make a show called Love Pilar, shit, I'd tune in, like, okay, like, let's give Pilar, like, a storyline, like, I'd fucking watch it. But yeah, that's literally the only thing I did not like about the show was Pilar just making it about herself. Sorry, my camera stopped. Another thing that I did not like about the show was the fact that when Victor and Benji took the road trip together and they stayed in a motel overnight and Victor ended up kissing Benji, Benji was still in a relationship, but he himself even told Victor that his relationship wasn't going great. And to that, Benji decides to just move coffee shops and push his feelings for Victor away. It's like, dude, why are you going to do that? I get you. <clears throat> oh my God, I can't talk. I get you're trying to be the good guy, but dude, you can't push your feelings away for someone because it's only going to fucking make it worse. I can't can't relate because hello forever alone and single but come on it should be obvious like pushing your feelings away for someone is only gonna make you want them more I don't know what the hell Benji was thinking or if he was thinking at all because come on from the start you knew that you were both meant to be together. And speaking of which, his boyfriend was a crappy person. That's all I can say. I don't want I'd go into details but I really don't care much about him so and of course, the last thing that I actually did not like about the show was how it ended. Yeah, that cliffhanger. In a way, I knew it was going to happen, but I kind of thought it was going to happen toward the beginning so that we see the evolution of what happens after Victor came out to his parents. But I guess that's why season two hopefully is in the works. Because if it's not, I will write to Fox and demand a season two. Well, there you guys go. That was my quick review, I guess you can call it, about Love, Victor. If you guys like this video, then as always, please make sure to give it a big old thumbs up and drop a comment about if you've seen the show and what you think, because I want to start a conversation. I want to want us to get to know each other. But yeah, guys, I'm going to go now. I'm going to go edit this video. Hopefully my MacBook actually has battery and I'm looking at it right now and the little charging light actually isn't on. So if this video doesn't go up on time on Sunday, which is tomorrow. It's still gonna go up just a little late. But yeah guys, I'm gonna go now. Thank you guys so much for watching this week's video and until next time, I bid thee happy Pride Month and very well. Goodbye.